Here is another practice test question for you on addition and subtraction of integers. I like you to pause the video, copy the question, answer and then look into my suggestion. The question is determine missing integer for each equality. Equality is an equation where left side should be equal to right side. And the second part of this question is explain your thinking. So we have three questions here you need to find these missing integers. The first one is minus 7 plus what is minus 11? You need to fill in this. The second one is when you take away minus 3 from a number you get minus 11. Find that number, right? That is how you could read this question. And this one is when you take away minus 4 from a number you get 12. Find that number, right? You can still pause and then try to answer the question. Here is my suggestion. The first one is, what should you add to minus 7 to get minus 11? Well, if you see the number line, then let us say we are here at 0. And somewhere here is minus 7. The thing is, what should you add to minus 7 so that you get minus 11? So to go to minus 11, I will have to move left, right? And then how many units? We have to reach minus 11. So from 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 is 4, right? So it should be minus 4. So that is how you can get your answer, right? You can say from minus 7, it is kind of going leftwards, right? It's more negative. So from 7, minus 7, it is minus 8, minus 9, minus 10, and minus 11, right? Then you get to this point. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4. Is that okay? So that is also how you can achieve the result. Now let's look into the next one. The next question is, from what should you take away minus 3 so that you have minus 11? So what we want is minus 11 after we take away minus 3. That means this bucket should have lot more negative things in it, right? Negative counters. Let's do this with counters. So it should have at least minus 3 counters, right? So we will have at least minus 3 counters, which you have to take away, right? And then once you take away these, you should be left with minus 11. That means there are also minus 11 in addition to these 3, right? So, so we have these additional counters, right? 3, 3, 6, 3, 9, 10 and 1, 11, right? So that is what it means. That means here... We should have at least these minus 3 and also once we take away these we are left with minus 11. So these are minus 11, right? So this is minus 3 and this is minus 11. Add them all. What do you get? Count them, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4 times 3 is 12, 13 and 1, 14 and all negative. So it is negative 14. So that is how you can explain how you get your answer. So here, communication is very important. Okay, one more question. Now, I think you can do it. You need to take away 4 so that you get plus 12, right? So that means after taking away 4, you should have plus 12. So that means there are, in this bucket, at least 12 of these, right? So plus 12 are there. So let me, let me write 12 here first. So 4. So I'm writing three rows of four. That makes it plus 12, right? Now, I should be left with 12 after I take away minus four. So what is that number? That is what I want to know, right? So if I have to take away minus four, I should have in this bucket minus four also, right? So let me write minus four of these minuses, correct? So I should have these four also. So once I take away these four, I am left with 12. So this is all the bucket contains. Do you see that? 
Now if it contains all this, what integer it represents? Well, we know these combinations will make 0, right? So if they make 0, we are left with 4 plus 4, 8. So this should be plus 8, right? So plus 8 take away minus 4 is equal to 12. So that is how we can solve such questions. I hope you appreciate them. Thank you and all the best.